you guys, what's up? Welcome back to my channel. I'm back with another video, another documentary. You guys requested me to check out George St. Pierre Rush, and I also want to shout out uh, Joseph Vincent for making these documentaries, board film. They're just amazing. I love them. So, shout out to him. I will have the link down in the description to his channel. But yeah, I'm not gonna ramble or anything. Let's check this video out. I never heard about him before, so I'm excited. <laughs> Start from the beginning. Mixed martial artist. I mean, when, when I look at you, George, in the UFC, there are fighters and there are martial artists. And you were always a martial artist. George St. Pierre. GSP. The pride of the South Shore, St. Isidore, Quebec, Canada. George St. Pierre. He's Canadian, from the French side, you can tell by his name. Raised in Quebec, GSP was undersized and bullied. So that's his nickname, GSP. In an effort to stand up for himself, GSP started training in karate. Karate would form the foundation for the fighter he would become. Hmm. Earning his third degree black belt I've at seen age a, a 12. Thread. A lot of MMA fighters, they've been doing a lot of other things before. Like he would this, carry like this training through the entirety of his boxing. career. St. Pierre and, and Brookman, this is going to be one hell of a fight. St. Pierre, unbelievable athlete, strong guy, and well-rounded fighter. St. Pierre decided MMA was the future when he watched Royce Gracie conquer UFC 1. And he's laying into this guy like nobody's business. Now he's starting to land some huge shots. His arm is locked out. Just that is it. Just tapped. That is it. St. Pierre wins with a beautiful armbar. He needed to train in Muay Thai while simultaneously training in Brazilian Jiu Jitsu, but there was nowhere to receive this type of training in Canada at the time. He was working as a garbage man when he first came and spoke almost no English. So GSP traveled seven and a half hours almost daily from Montreal to New York. So I remember just being incredibly impressed by the sacrifices he was making. Dedication. He began he knew what he wanted. taking the beginner's class. At age 18, he entered the Canadian pro fight circuit. And I also learned that he was had very little money. He lived in a flop house while working as a garbage man and training full time. Ground game like Watch nobody's business. Face. That was a beautiful pass by St. Pierre. Now he's inside control. <laughs> Watch him ragdoll this guy's head against the canvas over and over. Oh! Whoa! I haven't seen that before. I'm the wild man Thomas Denny. Came up here from California to kick some Canadian ass. I know you Canadians don't like you me now, but you like me when I leave the ring. You don't know what's about that. The jungle, but he better watch out for that knee. And his hair. That's so 90s. How old is this? Thomas Denny came looking like Shao Kahn from Mortal Kombat. Oh, that looks scary. I'm not gonna lie. Oh my god. You're like early 2000s. GSP handed him an old fashioned beatdown. <laughs> Round one. Started training in martial arts at age seven to GSP. Show the American cat. Uh, known for his uh, jiu jitsu abilities. Get over here. He just muscles his way through anything because he's just what such a sound effect. It's not even funny.
Oh, it's the same thing. Oh. These sound effects, what is this? Hey. Okay, some break that's what? When it comes to training, George is all business. He's not about being emotional, he's about being strictly effective. In the early years of MMA, there weren't many who had well-rounded training. And so George was one of the first that started to have a bit of everything. You were either a striker mm. or a grappler. Some cross-training was essential, but fighters leaned into their strengths. Wow, I didn't do that at GSP's all. training was ahead of the game. Mm. Wow. Because now you can see that with all fighters that we've checked out. This guy was early on. My name is Pete Secret Weapon Spratt. Pete! Unfortunately, I should be at home with my family and friends on this holiday weekend. But since I'm here, I might as well finish some unfinished business with George St. Pierre. Russia! George! We shall see. Being the Canadian Pete champion off. didn't pay much. Fighters were contractually obligated to paint ads on their backs in order to draw wow. additional revenue. Let's get it on. Wow. GSP was so strong, he could latch on to opponents and end fights before they even began. It was his quick assault style that earned him the nickname Rush. Oh wait, that, that was the nickname Rush? I'm sorry, I need to latch hear on to opponents and end fights before they even began. It was his quick assault style that earned him the nickname Rush. Uh, it's interesting to see like, where they got their nickname from. Like with John Jones. And After just five Jones. professional fights, GSP was called up to the big leagues, the UFC. He holds a mixed martial arts record of five wins with no losses. Standing five feet, ten inches tall, weighing in at 167 pounds, George Rush St. Pierre! You ready? Bring it on! Here we go! Show of class and respect, red trunks, Parisian. I, you know, I just turned 23. I know I'm not the best welterweight in the world right now. I know it. I have a, I have a lot of things to uh, correct. Oh, he's speaking. Uh, yeah, George St. Pierre is uh, oh. he comes with a big reputation. Oh, 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 he's, uh, very well oh my God, there. what is that? What is that? With each oh contest, GSP grew as a fighter. We will render the judge's decision. Oh. George Rush St. Pierre. I just want to say to the uh, American fighter, soon, uh, young, a Canadian young guy, young gun is coming to kick yes, ass. It's an underpaid. He's got a very large frame, yes. 170 in the welterweight the division. The underdog. He, region. he is very big. You love to see it. You love to see it. Showing off his striking ability as well as his ground and pound. Because he's the wow. master of shoot box. Shoot box enables wow. me to determine what will the fight stay standing that? or will it go to the ground. That came off a big win tonight, and at the press conference tonight, even Dana White said, "You are, you're the future of the 170-pound division." Dana White was correct. This fight is five rounds. He's like me. Who? For the vacant UFC welterweight championship. Uh, had some early successes in the UFC and perhaps before his time was put in to fight Matt Hughes for the world championship at a very young age. Here we go. Someone will leave a champion either for the first the time my experience or once again. And everything. And it shows what level he was on. If St. Pierre was able to keep Matt Hughes from taking him down, he's going to say something about this fight. There it is. Matt Hughes 101 into the guard, and the guard is open. He lost not so much because Matt Hughes beat him, but because he made a series of obvious mistakes. Matt Hughes on the jump, and it's all over! It's all nice. over! Matt Hughes with a submission victory! Bang! Armbar over! Matt Hughes is once again the welterweight champion! It was too much, too soon for the still mm. green GSP. In the beginning, 
I used to beat people by overpower them. But then UFC, this is more like a chess match. At one point, it's not athletic, you know? It's, it's also brain and, and, and mm. analyzing stuff. At least he, he like gained some knowledge. In the UFC, oh, wow. I do believe everyone is in shape. But I believe the reason why a guy is more tired than another guy is because one guy is more efficient than the other. Mm. It's like seeing Mickey Mantle play baseball. It's like seeing Muhammad Ali box. And it really becomes a matter of, can someone come along that finds that one hole in your arm and has physical attributes similar to yours or enough to nullify yours and has an added equation? Yeah. GSP returned to Canada to defend his TKO title. The, the one thing you see when you look at the physique, I mean, this is an incredible athlete in George St. Pierre. He is. His speed advantage is definitely How well, he seems like a, a good person. Athlete. Finishing with another first round submission <laughs> in what would be his final TKO fight. Tap out, tap out. Hey, little bat. GSP returned to the UFC, matching up with another veteran of the octagon, Frank Trigg. This is a huge, huge showdown. 